can I buy a house in Franklin during COVID-19 and during the executive order? Yeah, great question. And we are glad to put some data down on the line here and talk about the, the process and the, how you can go about it. So if you do need to buy a house or you just want to buy a house, whether it's getting out of rentals or you've already got your house under contract or you've got a new job in Franklin, can you still go out now and buy something? So um, got us curious. I mean, there, there are systems in place and stuff that we've implemented to make it safer, but just wanted to know, is it happening? So um, today uh, is the 16th of April. So I went back and pulled data to the 1st of April and 54 homes have gone under contract. 54 homes in Franklin, Tennessee since April 1st. So two weeks, roughly two weeks worth of data, 54 homes, so 25 homes a week, right? More than one home a day. Um, buyers are buying homes right now. Lots of different various reasons too, right? Absolutely. Um, I have to be honest. <laughs> we, again, you say just curious, Mike, but we all know you're an engineer and you love data and <laughs> it's not just curiosity. You want the numbers. And so I just wanted to clear the air on that. But the, uh, the other part is, uh, you know, I took a wild guess, you know, before we started this conversation, and I said 22. So obviously I was a little bit off and I'm a little bit surprised at how many uh, are actually being sold in the first half of this month. But I'm encouraged. I'm excited about what's happening, you know, outside of, you know, uh, the COVID stuff. I mean, I'm excited about, you know, that people are still getting their needs met in terms of I have to move. I'm, I'm tired of paying rent. I've got a new job. I'm, I'm moving here for a reason, you know, or I'm moving up because there's just not enough room in my, my house. I'm, I'm really encouraged that they still have those opportunities and still can make that happen. Yes. Um, I think the, the necessity for people buying has not changed, right? The things that always cause people to, to need or want to have a different house, they're outgrowing the one they're in, they dislike it, or they realize that it doesn't fit their, their needs, whether they're aging in place, um, job, um, increase, decrease, any of those things, um, whether positive or negative, um, are still happening to people and they're still in people's lives. And we just want to provide the information that, yes, you can still go out and buy a house. Now, we're not encouraging you to, to go out and, and shop every house on the market. We're encouraging you to connect with a real estate agent, build a plan where you can get uh, the homes visually seen that, you, that fit your needs in a more virtual manner with less uh, direct contact, right? Social distancing and safe practices with uh, personal protective equipment and all that stuff. Make those decisions, then go out and see the right house if you feel like you need to um, before you put a, an offer in. But people are buying houses in this market um, and, and our real estate company, um, you know, we're still seeing um, people making offers and, and showing properties, right? Absolutely. So. Well, great answer to that question. Another, uh, uh, another mystery now solved. Yeah, we, we love sharing the data with you guys. And uh, as always, this is Mike and Joey at Gray Fox Realty. If you have any questions, you know how to reach out to us. Thank you.